What's up team? It's me with the Centaur E. Yang here with a video that is going to help all of you who have been interested or who are getting ready or who are already in and starting the wonderful martial art of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yes, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yes. Now, see, a lot of physique athletes have gotten themselves into the martial art recently. Uh, Bart Kwan from Barbell Brigade and JK Films. Bradley Martin literally just started and you know, he's massive. So obviously if Bradley's gonna be starting, there's gonna be a wave of people that are gonna be coming into the martial art. There's Chad Wesley Smith, the juggernaut, the big, massive, strong guy he is. There's also uh, bikini athletes, Alyssa Polisano and Lauren Conlon who have gotten started. Um, a lot of people are getting started in it and I feel that like it's gonna get even more popular. I've been in the martial art for almost five years now, come December, and I've learned some stuff and seen some things that I think are going to help you guys out as you're getting ready to start the martial art all the time. By the way, if you like the content on this channel, please give the video a like. Just hit that like button for me. All right, and then also subscribe to the channel if you're here. I don't know why you just don't Click the red subscribe button and then maybe just go ahead and touch, tap, smash that notification bell, okay? Just, just do that for your boy, all right? Now let's just get into it. I don't wanna waste any more time. Let's get into number one. First thing that kind of surprised me when getting into BJJ, I'm not gonna call it Brazilian Jiu Jitsu anymore. I'm gonna call it BJJ. The first thing that surprised me when I got into BJJ was the amount of time that I spent washing clothes. Now I know this totally depends on how many times a week you train jujitsu. If you only train jujitsu once a week, it's fine. But that never is how it stays. You see, with jujitsu, it kind of turns into a little bit of a drug addiction, or no, sorry, an addiction. You turn into, you get a little Tyrone Biggins itch when you don't hit the mats at least two or three times a week, and then honestly, you can't leave a gi to sit there. It, it, Trust me, we'll talk more about that later. It gets nasty. So if you're someone who starts trading three times a week, well, you will either have to, in your home, use your washer after all of those sessions, or you gotta go to a laundromat, or like me, if you train five or six times a week, then you need to wash your jujitsu clothes every single day of the week. And trust me, that gets a little expensive on the water bill. So be prepared to, be prepared to wash your clothes a lot, your, your, your gear a lot, and then also, What's gonna happen as you start doing more jujitsu is you start telling yourself, hey, I only have one gi, I need to get more. And then that turns to an addiction because once you get your next gi, you get another one, another one, another one. I've made the mistake of buying too many gis, gis that I don't wear anymore, okay? So understand, you'll get the gi addiction too. Now, by the way, this is a company that I'm not sponsored by, but I already have three, three of their geese, okay? Uh, Origin geese. Just, just get your geese from Origin. And the reason is this. You can customize the size of the bottom and the top. I have a weird body where my top or my bottom is much bigger than my top. So when I would get old geese, right? Usually the bottom was too small and the top was too big or the top was too big and the bottom was too small. With Origin, you can customize the two. And I've had those geese for three years and they are still in pristine condition. No rips, no tears, they're wonderful. If you want a good long lasting gi, go to Origin Geese. Just get it. There's no code because I'm not sponsored. I bought all my geese. Just trying to save you some time and uh, some money because they're great. Okay, now the number two thing that I wasn't prepared for when I started jujitsu was uh, the amount of sweat that, that, that you produce, the amount of sweat that your partners produce, and the amount of soreness that comes from the sport. But let's just first talk about the sweat. You see, when I went into jujitsu on the first day to go watch, you know, I saw everybody rolling together and I was like, wow, this looks fun, this is great, this is gonna be awesome. And then when I won my first day of jujitsu, and then this guy mounted me, and the sweat from his beard started to drip into my mouth, I wasn't prepared for that. I was immensely prepared for that. I was a little bit scarred when I was leaving the school and going home. And let me tell you, it's, it's just not something that you're gonna be prepared for. That close person to person contact when you're rolling with someone, unless, unless you did wrestling or maybe football or something like that, I did it. You're not gonna be ready for it, okay? So the sweatiness is something that you're gonna get used to. You're gonna sweat a lot. Your partner's gonna sweat a lot. You guys are just gonna have one big sweaty mess of a time. It's gonna be great. Trust me. But 
Also, because you sweat so much and because jujitsu is something new, you're gonna have a level of soreness that you've never had before, okay? It's not gonna be like lifting, it's not gonna be like any sport you've done in the past, you're just gonna be sore because you're using your body in so many ways that you never used to use it before, okay? So, so be prepared for that, but here is a plug from a sponsor of the channel and it's a supplement that's really gonna be super beneficial for you in terms of keeping hydrated. I've talked about them a lot and I'm gonna continue talking about them because they're freaking amazing element electrolytes. Okay, they have the perfect blend of sodium, potassium, magnesium to use prior to rolling, after you're rolling to make sure you're well hydrated. I used to cramp a lot in the past with jujitsu. Cramps are a thing of the past. I train a lot fasted, um, I sweat a ton. I'm starting to sweat as I'm doing this video. I need to get my electrolytes and Element does that for me. So head to drinkelement.com slash Encima and check them out because trust me, it's gonna do you some good. All right, now, the third thing that um, I, I, I wasn't ready for, I wasn't ready for, um, and the people in my life weren't ready for, was the smell. The smell of your vehicle, to be more specific. You see, when you sweat that much in a really heavy gi, you take it and put it in your car. I don't live far from my school. I don't live far from my jujitsu school. I live maybe 10, 15 minutes away. But the amount of stench that can build in a vehicle within a 10 to 15 minute period is something that one can't understand. God forbid you live 30 to 40 minutes away from your jujitsu school. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Your car is gonna smell. Okay, you know what? Let me just tell you a story. One of my friends came into my car one day and uh, he hadn't been in my car for a little bit. And he turned to me and he looked at me and he looked straight forward. We drove for a little bit. He's like, and see him, I gotta ask you, bro. Why does your car smell like butt? I was so embarrassed, yo. Cause I didn't realize it smelled like butt and it smelled like butt because my jujitsu stuff was smelling the whole thing up the whole time. So um, I tell you this with some tips. Number one, if you don't have them already, get yourself some car seat covers because you're gonna be super sweaty. And then whether you have leather seats or carpet seats, you're gonna sit down in that seat. And if you're sweaty, it's gonna seep into your upholstery, right? And over time, your car will start to smell like deep crack but I'm serious, it won't be good. So get yourself some car seat covers so you can go sit in your car, you can pull the car seat cover off, you can wash it later, it's good. And then number two, get some you know fabric softener because it smells really strong, put it in the back seat. Just keep it in the back seat. Keep it there, don't remove it, keep it there, okay? If your car will smell good, you're good. Get yourself a few air fresheners because they sometimes make a difference. But the biggest thing that I think makes the biggest difference is when you finish jujitsu, grab yourself a plastic bag Treat your ghee like it's a toxic, acidic thing that you, you, you just need to you need you need tighten up and put away, right? Tie it in a plastic bag super tight, then put it in your other bag, and trust me, your car won't smell as bad. Do these things, and then your significant other or your friends won't think that you're a smelly piece of, I don't know, it's just, just do it, okay? And that'll save you. All right, number four. Okay, the fourth thing that I wish I knew before starting jujitsu was that nothing, nothing, zero, Greg Doucette, Greg Doucette, zero, zero, nothing will make sense. Okay, trust me. Um, at least since I didn't have a grappling background or a martial arts background, when I went in there, I wasn't some prodigy that everything started clicking. This is all good. No, nothing made sense for like the first year and a half. Like, I mean, some things would start to click, but <laughs> trust me, almost everything was going over my head every single session. And I think going into jujitsu, understanding that you're gonna be like a baby learning to walk and it's gonna take you a long time to get your first steps. It's gonna take you a long time to, to jog and run and sprint. <laughs> Understanding that concept will allow you to go in with just the willingness to learn, the willingness to suck really bad and get your ass beat, and um, just, to, uh, just to take things in as best as possible. There's a reason why a large majority of students quit at Blue Belt, and it's just because they get to a point where they're like, oh, okay, I get it, I don't need to do this anymore. But no, it's an eternal journey where things will be difficult. After a certain amount of time, things will make sense, okay? But let me tell you, it'll take a long time to get there. So just understand that. Nothing's gonna make sense initially, but just give it time, learn, be humble, be okay with getting your ass beat, be a good training partner, and you'll get better, okay? Okay, I think that, I think that would be the biggest thing I want you to understand from this video. But we have one more thing. 
one more very, 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 very important thing. And that is the hygiene of three different things. The hygiene of your school, the hygiene of your training partners, and then the hygiene of you. Okay, let's first start about the hygiene of your school. I am so blessed to go to a school, Casa Renek Jiu Jitsu in Sacramento, California, Carmichael and Rosso, they have two locations. Um, I'm so happy to go to a school that takes cleaning the mats seriously. It, it, it's only when you've been to a dungeon, a school that doesn't clean their mats well, a school that when you look at their mat, you swear you saw something twitching in the corner. It's only when you've been to a school like that that you then appreciate a clean school, okay? Because jujitsu is a contact sport. Okay, you're gonna be rolling and just this close, close contact. You're gonna become friends with your training partners, friends in, in a way that you never expected. But it's a contact sport, right? And if you don't, if these mats aren't cleaned, yo, I've heard stories of guys getting multiple bouts of ringworm on different parts of their body. Not at my school, but other places. Um, Kieran Fitzgerald, the owner of CSA Gym, right, in SoCal, I think it's San Jose, I don't know. But he came on Mark Bell's Power Project and he told me about mat herpes. Mat herpes. So you got so let's so you got a cold sore. You ready? And then you go and grapple. And then you get your lips up on somebody's skin. What do you think oh, no. you're doing? Oh, no, what do you no. think you're doing? There you go. Now you got mat herpes. Good job. Mat herpes. So uh, that's normally how people are going to spread mat herpes. Somebody has a cold sore and then they grapple with it and then that gets on that person's skin and then that person gets one and then that person starts to scratch it and now it's super contagious and then it's rare, but it is literally the worst skin condition from grappling. Mat herpes. And you grapple because you have to look at people's fingernails. How does the fungus get in? It gets mm. in through tear. So you're scraping and scratching each other with fingernails. Mat herpes. How much are you sanitizing your facility is important. Well, and educating. Like and there's educating. a lot there's yeah. a lot of gyms I feel that just don't they want to ignore that. Like you walk into the bathroom with bare or feet hide and it. then you walk back onto yeah. the mat. Mm. What are you what are you doing? Mm. Right? Yes, mat herpes is a thing. Okay, yo, who? Yo, so this is why it's so important that you'll pay attention, right? The first few days of rolling at your school, just pay attention. Do, do they clean these mats after they finish rolling? Do they? Do they really? Is, is that blood stain that I see on the mat? Didn't I see that last week? If you saw that blood stain last week, leave. <laughs> Find another school, yo, because trust me, you don't want to get ringworm, you don't want to get mat herpes, you don't want to get jock itch, you don't want to get all the fun fungal infections that can happen from jujitsu. And I know I may be sounding a little bit ridiculous or I might be going a little bit over the top here, but it's a real thing to think about, okay? The cleanliness of your school. That's one of the reasons why I love Casio and I love Casio's school because that man and that school, they are serious of hygiene and cleanliness. Okay, and, and let's talk about the second thing, the cleanliness of your training partner. Now, most jujitsu schools, they have a, a little poster of a, of a monster guy and he doesn't have his nails cut, right? Um, his fingernails and toenails are super long, his gi is super smelly, his, uh, he, just, he just looks dirty and nasty. All right, if you see your training partner, right, and they, their nails are long and they smell, maybe just don't roll with them. Maybe if they ask you to roll, do this, do, do this thing. Maybe just go run to the bathroom real quick, okay? And then the cleanliness of yourself, okay? Make sure that you go in, your nails are short, your toenails are short, your gi is washed, you've worn deodorant, right? Keep yourself clean, because then people will want to train with you, all right? And then one thing that I also took from Kieran Fitzgerald, if you live far away from your school, and I live close to my school, but I still use it, I'm not sponsored by this, also, this other company I'm about to tell you about, but there are these wipes called Absolute Defense Wipes and Absolute Defense Foam. Okay, um, before rolling, I spray this foam on parts of my body, I wipe down, okay, and it's like a barrier foam, okay, and then after I roll, I wipe my body down with the wipes, and I go home knowing that now I am clean and disinfected, and I'm gonna be disease free. Okay, I'm, I'm absolutely serious, guys. Like, I know, I, again, it sounds, it sounds a little bit over the top, but you, just trust me. After jujitsu, use this stuff. I'm not sponsored. I don't get any kickback of anything. Um, and make sure when you go home, shower immediately. Don't sit in your jujitsu stench. All right? So, you know, I hope that on your first day of jujitsu, when you finish up, you're packing up your gi and the plastic bag and you're zip tying it. 
You put it in your car and you sit on your seat that now has a fresh new seat cover on it. You sit down, you start your car. I hope you think, thanks, Nsema. You're an awesome guy. You saved me. I, I don't need all that, but I really hope this does help you guys out, especially if you're beginning your jujitsu journey. Because these are things I wish I knew, and now you know them too. Now, guys, if you like the video, give the video a give it a quick like. Sub to the channel. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, head to www.breakthebar.com. I'll help you get lean and tight and get your body right. This is Nsima Centaur Yang from BreakTheBar.com. Be an anomaly. Be dope. Be yourself. And I'll talk to all of you very, very soon. Are you still here? Well, hello. I know you know my voice. It's me, you guessed it, God. Or as some know me, Morgan. Now. If you think Nsema forgot anything on his list of things to know before starting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, comment down below and give the video a like or I shall strike you with my mighty thunder. Help your neighbor, as they say in the word of me. Alrighty. Okay. Are you still? You're still here. Okay. Bye-bye.